So today what I'm doing is I'm actually clearing out the top storage of my garage to be more suitable for the channel. Right, I had a bunch of random stuff up there and this costume. Uh, actually, I want to put this up in the attic to where it's nice and safe, but first I cleaned it off and I made sure that uh, everything was okay on it. There's a couple of chips here and there. There's a couple of pieces that are a little bent that are made out of foam. But I wanted to talk about the what I did before this uh, before this channel and before my wife and I bought the house. My good friend James Spears uh, has a uh, company called Laughing Dragon Foundries. I'll put the uh, link of the Facebook group in the description below. When I first met him, I talked to him about the suits that he would build. He would build Iron Man suits. You know, he built a heart uh, Mark 17 Heartbreaker, a lot of Mark. Fours and a lot of other Iron Man suits as well, along with other, uh, other movie props. I love the game Halo. I figured out what I wanted to build, and I wanted to build Carter from Halo Reach. I love the co I love the uh, the armor. I love the way that uh, it looked, and so I built four versions of this. This is the, uh, version four, and each version got a lot better than the previous version. So James taught me how to do that, and I also learned from a website called the 405th. Black and Decker actually built this suit, and so uh, I used the I had Black and Decker drills, sanders, and also I had Dremel tools. See, you can't even white. Uh, it scratched my nose, uh, and so yes, this took a uh, a long time to perfect. All right, and yes, this has to do with tools because tools actually built this stuff. All right, so how, all right, so how you start building suits is you start off with a program called uh, Pepikira. And so then what, what Pepikira does, it turns a 3D object into two dimensions so you could build it in 3D. And so, uh, and so this is how it starts. This is, all, all this is, is this is the chest piece. This is paper and fiberglass resin. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a lot harder than paper. It's able to uh, keep the shape, but this is still in a fragile state. You have a lot, uh, much more process to harden this to make it like, to make it like, I have the helmet on there, so I don't want the helmet to fall, fall off because if it falls, my maneuverability is nothing. So, uh, and so, yes, yeah, so each, as you can see, these lines, each of these pieces is an individual piece. And so what the program does, it takes the shape and then it turns it into a piece where you could actually make it in 3D. So each, where each of these numbers are, there are tabs. And then you glue that tab to the corresponding number on the other piece. So, and then uh, after a long time, you make a 3D object. Then you have to harden it. There's many ways to harden it. Uh, I, I used fiberglass resin, uh, smooth on freeform air epoxy putty, and I used smooth on uh, 64D casting resin. And then that's what is on the inside of this suit. This suit is rock hard. Now if I take a hammer and bash it in there, it will break. But this, this suit is, it's, it's hard. It's rock hard. But it's not, it's not really thick. So, what casting resin is, this is casting resin. Alright, now I built, this, this, this helmet is not my helmet. I did not, I, it was given to me. It was not uh, my design. Uh, this helmet is my design. I built this from paper and then I added a bunch of Bondo everywhere to make these shapes as, uh, as, uh, as they are because I just didn't want the actual regular file. I wanted a personality. I had to build out with Bondo all of this. This, this, pro this was... Uh, a huge passion of mine for many years, many years. This t it takes so much effort to make this stuff. It, it it really does, and it has to be durable to where you wear it or 
over at Comic Cons, and it has to be proportioned to the other pieces. So it's a hard hobby to do. It's expensive as well. It's like a this suit, this full suit cost four hundred dollars, and that's because I mastered the the I mastered the process for the specific suit. But the first suit I built cost about three thousand because uh, I've just been messing up. Been uh, you know like the this isn't made with regular paper. This is made with uh, expensive cardstock. It's like fifteen dollars for fifty sheets. Uh, I built my my pistol. I've built my handgun out of foam, and so it's a. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not a huge. I'm not really that good in foam. I did the best I can, but uh, from a long distance, it looks good, and in pictures, it looks good, and that's what the main thing that matters. Now, I, I was still mastering the art of fiberglass, which I if I build this if I build this suit one more time, it would be a lot better than what it is right right now, especially with the tools that I have. I didn't have the tools that I have to build this. Uh, and so the tools I have now is much better and my situation is much better because I built this suit in like a four four by six air a storage area, you know, at my at my condo in Pingree Grove. And so yeah, so this thing, this thing is awesome. Uh, Four hundred fifth majorly helped me out to build this. Uh, people would get me, keep me motivated to keep building, and they would uh, give me advice for when I asked it and when I didn't ask it because they suggested some stuff. I listened, and it majorly helped out. The uh, helped everything out. So th th this is this thing's awesome. It, it seriously is. It seriously is. Now this is uh, this is the shin. The shin piece, and so yes, uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's hard. It's hard. Now the inside is layered with uh, casting resin, uh, two coats, and that re that helps it uh, retain its shape, and it keeps it hard to wear. If I accidentally bump into something, it won't break. It won't break. Thank you. Now this suit is old, so it's not as strong as it was when I first made it. It's four years old, and so yes, this is the uh, one of the thigh pieces. As you can see, I built a grenade out of foam, which the I got major advice for how to build that. First, I built the grenade out of paper, which building it out of paper is extremely hard, and so I decided to build it out of foam with a foam ball. But there's a special process for that because the the glue and paint could destroy the foam ball and make it into like a like a meteor crater that looks like crap. And so uh, as you can see there are electronics in here. And the uh, the gun actually gets velcroed on. And there we go. It could go on a little bit tighter, but I can't really coordinate it right now. So that's uh, the grenade, the pistol, and yes. And so yeah, th this was this w is one thing I did before I started to do YouTube videos. I went to Comic Cons, I uh, took thousands of pictures with people. Like I said, I'm cleaning the top side of the, my storage to uh, suit the channel. And so I just wanted to, before I put this up in the attic, I just wanted to do a video of it. And I'm sorry, I w one day I will do a video wearing this. So yes, this thing, uh, this thing's awesome though. It seriously is. I, I, I made, I made this. You know, it, it took forever to learn how to do it, but I made it. And so that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.